since I put up my last video. As a lot of you guys do know, I am a hairstylist and makeup artist and I work in New York City. And I do all these fun, great campaigns and things for some of your favorite brands and some of my favorites. So when my schedule gets busy and it gets hectic and then I have clients and I'm trying to do this and that and everything else in between, it's hard for me to do content in addition to, you, you know, work. It's hard to find the thing that actually pays my bills and the hobby that I actually Love. But enough of that, we are here today because it's been one year since I big chopped and we are straightening this hair today. I'm super, super, super excited to finally be able to flat iron it and to see the length and trim it. I have been trimming it in what we call the, what do you guys call it, the, the twist trim where you twist your hair and two strand twist and you give it a nice little trim at the ends. I have done that, but that's not the same as being able to actually see your hair at its length, trim it evenly and do all that good stuff. I've already washed my hair and conditioned it and it's in a cap under this. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna section it out, we're gonna chit chat for a second. I'm going to blow dry it, I am going to flat iron it, and then I'm gonna trim it and show you guys some other super cool stuff. So let's jump right into it, shall we? My hair is the healthiest it's ever been. It's the thickest it's ever been, probably since like childhood when your mother is like hot combing and greasing and keeping you plaited up. Like, I'm just in love. This comes down, my sides are pretty long. My front comes down to my top lip. So I'm super excited to see exactly where we are. I ran out of thermal protectors, so I ran over to Sally's to grab something. Caracare had a three-step program. If you guys can see it, it's called Thermal Wonder, and this is a pre-poo packet. So it was only like two bucks, but if you bought a Caracare product, you got this free, which was really amazing. So you pretty much put it on dry hair, you put a cap over it, you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. They also say you can leave it overnight for intensive. I just left it on for like 10, 15 minutes. It had amazing slip, a really nice scent. When I rinsed my hair, my curls were like popping. Like they were like, we are ready and protected for this heat, yeah. So I recommend this. Unfortunately, I only got one packet because I wasn't thinking my hair eats packets for snack. So I'm a two packet type of chick, three packs if you got longer hair. So that's the only thing I would recommend. And then they have the Care Care Thermal Wonder Cream Cleansing Shampoo. And so it's a sulfate free formula with natural non-GMO moisturizers like Mavula and Sugar Beetroot Extract. Again, the pre-pool was step one. This was step two. And step three is a Thermal Wonder heat protectant. So that's what I went for is to find a heat protectant and I ended up seeing that they had a whole thermal section together, a whole thing. And I said, oh, let's try all three as opposed to getting a thermal protectant by this brand and then that by this brand. I kind of dug it. The only thing is because it's only three steps, is I had to do my own conditioner. I'm guessing you don't need a conditioner, but I don't play like that. So I use my trusted favorite, the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. All the niche girls rant and rave about it. It has amazing slip. It is a little on the pricier side. So if you're a Cantu girl and you like that four or five, six, seven dollar conditioner, you may be like, uh, I'm not trying to pay almost $20, but baby, let me tell you, it's worth it. I have had this for about three months and I use it faithfully and I'm not stingy when I use it. So it lasts and it did stretch. So we've already done the pre-pull, we've done the shampoo, and we've conditioned my hair. We're gonna go in with step three, which is the six in one thermal protector. And it says it eliminates thermal damage while enabling easier, faster straightening that lasts before shampooing again. You guys can kind of see my hands. Kind of has like a oil. I'm gonna towel dry it a little bit. I didn't put too much. And I'm sure it won't by the time I blow dry it, but still, I'm just, I waited too long to come over here with a James Brown greasy wrap. So yeah, so what's been new in my life? I've been super busy. I'm on set like at least two, three times a week 
for different companies. I'm shooting next week for Calvin Klein. Um, in the past month, I've done five, four or five projects with Maybelline, which has been really exciting. Thanks to my NDA agreements, which means non-disclosure agreements. I can't tell you any more than that. And that's the thing. I share a lot of set life. Like if you follow me on Instagram, I always share like my setup for the day. I share the things that I can. I've shot for Nike recently. I did a campaign for Under Armour. So as you see, I'm just detangling the ends and I'm working my way up because you don't want to start at the root and just yank down your hair like no you want to start at the end detangle that portion and come up detangle that portion and come up detangle that portion and come up all right guys so now that i have four sections detangled and prepped and clipped and ready to be blow dried i'm going to go with my conair blow dryer and i'm going to use my comb attachment the reason that i'm going to use my comb attachment is because it's similar to if i went through my hair with a comb it's very gentle on the hair it won't compromise your curls it won't compromise the integrity of your hair Alright guys, I'm back. I finally blow dried my hair. I like had a moment for a second because like I just can't believe that it's as long as it is and I just know the time I put into it and the energy and the love and care. It's almost like a plant. Anything you're trying to get to grow, you are just loving on it. And to see it like this today and so healthy and so full, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. As you guys know, I've used this flat iron in previous videos, my absolute, absolute fave, my Paul Mitchell Neural Smooth flat iron. The thing that I love about it is that you can adjust the settings. So today we are gonna work at 380. I'm pretty sure I could do 400. We'll see what 380 is looking like. If I'm like, all right, maybe I'll bump it to 400. Again, you guys know 400 is my cutoff for everything. The only reason I would be able to really rock with 400 today is because I haven't had any heat on it in a year, you know what I mean? If you think it's too hot, it's probably too hot. You should turn it down. If it's you see a little smoke that happens depending on the products you have on your hair. But if it's like smoking, smoking, like you got a hot comb to that joint and it's only a flat iron. Now you have it sectioned. So we have one in the front, one on the side, and then we got two in the back. So I'm going to start here actually. Cause I want to save the bang section for last. Cause that's usually your fate, my, my personal favorite section. I want to start the bang coming in and then it's just like, uh, uh, uh. I want to see that last stuff. I'm just going to start with about a half an inch of a section, about that much hair. I hate when I do tutorials cause you guys can see this. I totally have to do a video about how I almost burned my house down. And these are reminders of what happens when you do stupid things. <laughs> when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do a story time about that. If you guys care, let, let me know. Anyway, here's the section I'm gonna do. It's about half an inch. I'm just gonna use the comb and gently detangle the ends because while I am gonna do the comb over flat arm method, I don't want to apply too much. those ends. I'm not trying to rake it through. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I really flat on my hair in a year. I am like, oh my goodness. I have real hair. That is so funny. So I would consider my hair a four. I would say that I'm a four A. Like my crown is definitely like a three C, three B mix. Um, my sides are pretty fine. I think I have some three in there. I, think I don't get that caught up in numbers. The biggest thing that I think is important for people to know about their hair, are you high porosity? Are you low porosity? Um, how often are you shampooing your hair? What products are you using? Knowing what products you are allergic to. Briefly, I know everybody is like freaking out about Eco Styler right now. I will say that I have been kind of phasing out of Eco Styler for a while. I'll actually show you why once I get this piece right. 
Um, but if you see about my hairline, in this area, you can see pimples. And I think that's personally from Eco Styler Gel. I started doing research a few months ago about Eco Styler and I ran into some videos of people saying it caused hair loss. And I saw other women saying that it gave them, you know, breakouts around their hairline. I'm like, is it, this is my jam. No, and it's so hard. So what else is new in my life? Okay, so pretty much my hair routine. Let's chit chat about that. I usually shampoo and condition once a week. I do deep condition once every two weeks. At least I try and do it like twice a month. Um, I usually deep condition for maybe like 20, 30 minutes. I will do a wash day routine. What I'm actually gonna do, because I was gonna show you guys my wash day routine today. I'm gonna show it to you when I wanna revert this back to curly hair. So my favorites right now, Trader Joe's has a really nice clarifying shampoo. It's like a tea tree shampoo. Um, of course, everybody loves the minty tingle. So if you like that and you're on a budget, I would recommend the Trader Joe's. I think it's like not even six bucks. And it's a nice size bottle. So I use that once. And then I rotate between my My L Organics shampoo. Um, I have the curl cleanser i think that's her the curl cleanser um i rotate between that i've been using camille roses her ginger shampoo i use that one as well i love ors's leave-in it smells so good so i like that if i'm using a leave-in if i'm just so that'll be like i'll use that before i'm styling my hair if i need something to actually like condition my hair before I go out the shower, I've really just been using a TGIN. I love my out organics. I love her Babasu oil um, conditioner. I use that one as well. And then I also like her leave-in conditioner and I use that before styling. So my routine as far as styling is every week, I pretty much grease my, I shampoo, do condition, I grease my scalp. After I grease my scalp, I just do two strand twists all over my head. I mean, I literally look like Wale or Maxine Shaw from Living Sunday. What happens is I either take it out in a few days and wear it as a twist out, or I um, take the front half out, which usually is what happens because I have this new affinity for half wigs. So that is how I style my hair a lot. I leave the back and twist or corals. And then I just put a half weave on the back and blend the front end and keep it moving. That's been a style I've been doing where I actually do twist outs, which are pretty cool. Twist outs, my twist outs, I still feel like they're at this awkward length and I don't love them. I like them, but I don't love them. So they usually end up in like a jumbo air ponytail pot. Before I put it away. So this is the first section. That's what we're working with, section one. It is here. My piece in there comes down to here. And the very top comes down to like my ear. Like the bottom of my ear. All right guys, so we have one, well not two, one <laughs> section left to go. So this is the side and the back. All right, so now we've discussed the products that I've used for the last year, the styles I've been doing, what I'm doing with my life and how I make a living when I'm not on YouTube. And now that we're down to the very last section, I just really, really want to take this time to thank everyone that has watched this video, everyone that has watched any of my videos my channel just hit 70k views i'm just amazed by it a lot of views for somebody that was like super nervous to do youtube super worried about it so for all the people that are subscribed to my channel all the people that subscribe even when you come to my page and see i haven't uploaded in two months instead of being like oh she don't even be on here like that i'm not about to follow her and you still follow you still care it just means a lot. It really does. It means a lot to me. Okay. 
So I am finally finished straightening my hair. And I, guys, I'm in love. It's not bone straight, but once I wrap my hair tonight, it will be. And I didn't wanna get too crazy on the ends because like I said, I'm going to trim them and then you'll be able to see the difference. But I mean, it's so full and the length is nice. The front, I have a nice little bang all the way across. If I take it out of a part, I have a nice bang. My edges are nice and plentiful and full. You know what I mean? I dig that. It's just, even with the not bone straight, it still just looks really good to me. It looks super healthy. Like I said, I didn't want to go past 380. I even actually bumped up to 400 just to see if that extra little bit of degrees was straight. And honestly, these ends just need to be trimmed. It's been a year since I've had a real, real trim. So I put rods or rollers in it. Maybe I'll do a heatless curl tutorial. Tell me if you guys are into that. If I just put like flexi rods in it overnight, it will be beautiful in the morning. Now I'm going to trim it and you guys will be able to see the difference. But if you thought that I was going to do it in this video, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm hungry now. I need to take a quick break and all of that. Stay tuned because next week you guys will see this hair trimmed, the difference it makes, and I'm going to share some of the goodies with you. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so now. If you like this video and find it helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. Make sure you share it across all your social media. Be sure to follow me at Janira Rose on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. My website is www.janirarose.com. You pretty much can find me all over the internet. I'm not hard to find. So thank you guys so much for your time. This video may be a little bit long-winded. I'm gonna try and chop it up some, but I just really appreciate all of your support. Thank you for being patient with me, and God willing, I will see you in my next video. Bye.